Hi, my name is Mitu. I'm an incoming uh, third year English student at Pembroke College, Oxford, and you're watching Getting Personal with Team Upside. Yeah, so I think the most difficult part of writing the personal statement was accepting that the first draft, the second draft, even the fifth draft wasn't going to be the final draft. It's about kind of entering the process and accepting that you're not quite as good at writing a personal statement as you think you are. And it's quite difficult to grapple with that. I mean, there were points where I got quite worked up about, you know, should I even apply to Oxford? I can't even write a simple personal statement. And because my teachers and I really, really wanted to make sure that it worked, and that it was an effective personal statement that did justice to all the experiences that I've had, as well as my passion for the subject. So yeah, I think the most difficult part was definitely accepting that it's going to be a long process. When I first thought about this question, I definitely thought it was my teachers and it definitely was. But I think in some ways it's also our families and our parents and the life experiences that they give us. My personal statement was very, very personal and I think that's one thing that Pembroke really appreciated about. I think what they really appreciated is that I personalised my passions um, that I explored in the personal statement. So I think one thing that I can say is I'm very, very grateful that my parents offered me the stories that they did. I think growing up, I never really clocked that these are stories that are of value. I think it's just things that I would listen to before bed or during the day. And I'd be like, oh yeah, mad, like my dad did this back in Italy in India, but I wouldn't really think about the impact that it would leave me with. So in a, in a kind of more practical sense, definitely my teachers, they were incredible in the process and they worked really hard to make sure that the personal statement did justice to the process and to my experiences. But in a more kind of personal way, I guess, I think definitely my family, my parents, the, the experiences that they've given me. So I honed in on a theme. Um, so this basically did two things for me. So structurally, it tied my personal statement together. I had a topic sentence at the beginning and then a concluding sentence at the end that linked that theme. Um, not only did it kind of help the structure, but it also showed that I could write well. I think that's one thing we need to remember as many students is writing a good personal statement is actually useful because it shows that you can actually write. Um, so having, having a theme was really, really useful, but also having a theme captured my passion for the subject because what it did is it forced me to do ample research on quite a niche thing um, and giving ample examples from a range of countries, periods of literature, genres of literature in one person statement that link to that theme was really, really effective because what it does is it shows that you're very competent um, and not only that, but you're very, very passionate and well-read on what you want to study for the next three years, four years, six years, whatever degree you end up doing. I just made it very personal. I wanted to portray myself and I think that's the one thing you have to work with. You have to realise that there genuinely is nobody like you, as, as cringy as it sounds. Um, so ensuring that you portray yourself in it as uni unique way as possible is super important because that is the only way they're going to figure out that, oh, this is a very, in this is an individual, unique applicant with unique skill sets, experiences and abilities. And once you're able to make that, personal statement as personal as possible. I think you're really, really able to convince the readers of that. Being very, very conscious of every single thing you're doing in your spare time and seeing how or why that can add to your personal statement is quite useful because it also means that the examples that you give come quite organically. And then when it comes to the interview, when you need to talk about these things, you will do it in a more natural way. So yeah, anything that I'd watched, anything that I'd read, any place that I'd attended, museums, exhibitions, school trip, extra reading that I'd done, I was just, I was very conscious of it and I would note things down. Um, so I said earlier on that I think my personal statement bangs, it only bangs because I wrote like 12 drafts. So it was a very, very, very long process. Um, so, so yeah, so I would really emphasize that like, don't be hard on yourself if, if it gets difficult or if you feel like it's going nowhere because it's meant to be a long drawn process. One of my favorite lines uh, from my personal statement is the opening. So I'm gonna read it out to you. Literature has a profound psychological effect on us. It shapes and often reshapes our perceptions of the world 
on ourselves. I want to study English literature further to explore how writers convey the complexities of human identity and how our environments can shape this. Listening to my father's accounts of displacement in the Indian anti Sikh riots in 1984, I was moved by the manner in which I was able to connect with a narrative so different from my own life experience. So the reason why I, I love this section of my personal statement is because I think the opening line is very important. This opening line is both broad enough to prove my ability to pick up on a quite pervasive theme within literature as a whole, but it's also, also a useful opening that can allow me to centre the rest of my personal statement um, on quite a niche topic. So the very useful second line, I want to study, dot, 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 makes my passion for an intention to pursue uh, the subject very, very clear. So the third line also personalises the quite broad theme of psychological effect of, of literature and then my niche within that quite broad theme which focuses on human identity. Using a very active verb, listening to my father's accounts, places all these introductory themes within a very personal realm, which is important because it establishes very early on in the personal statement that this is actually a personal statement.